Hey up, Babby. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm going to showcase the route that I do on Streets of Tarkov and help you get a fatty stash just like this. So this is the state of my stash after 19 days of wipe. I've hit the raids pretty hard. And as you can see, I've got six thick cases absolutely filled to the brim with all sorts of good stuff. Now I'm going to take you through the route that I go through uh, to acquire all these rubles. Typically, I'll leave a raid with at least a mil. But if you've got the keys, you can leave with hell of a lot more, which are Concordia Apartment 64 key, Concordia Apartment 64 office room key, the Iron Gate key, and Check 15 apartment key. These two in particular are pretty difficult to acquire on the flea market. Mainly you're going to find them up there for barters. Usually silly barters like the sanity key. Yeah, there we go. They're all up there for crazy things like that. So you're going to have to be searching coats for most of these. I'll be making a coat guide on streets as well. You can also get them out of filing cabinets. Eventually I'll get around to making a filing cabinet guide as well because there's an absolute ton of them on there. And then another good one is... Kromolski 48 apartment key. Oh yeah. Also, make sure you get a stair landing key. This is dirt cheap and it's, it's pretty OP. I'll show you why in the video. Another key I remembered whilst editing is the construction key. Construction site Bunkowski. That's worth picking up. So, jumping into the raid, we spawned a construction site, which is bang next to Concordia, which is perfect for us. This is going to be the place where we're starting. So to get in here, you can either go through the stairwell on the left, but I like to smash this window, it's a lot faster. And if someone else is in the building, you got a bit of an edge on them immediately. So jumping through, we're going to open the first door, and you're going to see your first duffel bag in the gym. Door to the left is leading to the corridor, which at the end is Concordia 64. So straight through, immediately the Zars in front of you. This is where you're going to find the best spawns along this bottom part, all along the city. And then the entire floor in front of the bed there can have multiple gold spawns. Now we unlock the office part of this building. You want to be checking this table, in front of this table, all along this shelf, all along this part. The entire desk can spawn good things like graphics cards, and then there's a PC to boot as well. Alright, that's all we'll be doing in this building, so we're going to head back out the way we came. But some things to check here, the settee can have gold spawns. As well as these shelves and the bed. So, cutting back through to construction. I like to open this cabin because there's two cuts in there. Chances of some good keys are spawning inside them. And next door to that, the double stack cabin. This is a, another key you're going to need to unlock. But it's worth it. There's two more cuts, a duffel bag, med crate, and some loose spawns on the table. Before we leave construction, I like to check this stash just located underneath the crane. And then the cabin that leads to the road contains one duffel bag and a cut. So following the road down, this is the best building on the map in my opinion. For reference, that's where the car dealership is. Now you want to be careful as you're entering this building. If this door's open, it means you're not the first in there. So take a bit more caution. Immediately on the right though, you can find some drink spawns here. I found moonshine quite a few times. In the room next to it, there's a lot of sugar spawns on the floor. Hit the box and the wardrobe for more ammo spawns. These shelves here are really great for tools, things like red pliers, hose, and tubes. In this room, we've got one coat, and all along the shelves, you've got more industrial spawns. All along these shelves and on the floor in front of the filing cabinets. Filing cabinets are good for keys as well, but they take quite a lot of time, and this is a hot spot, so be very wary if you're going to loot these. Another set of filing cabinets here, and a weapon box. Jumping through, this is a high tier loot spawn on this table. As well as this small table, and then this shelf and box also spawn. 
always make sure you check these static scabs they have a fantastic loot pool some more loose spawns here for gold items all along this desk and underneath you can get things like graphics cards and computer components as well as the pc there as well make sure you check this spot for alcohol spawns moonshine vodka whiskey on the chair as well this is a gold spawn as is this and then every single part of this kitchen is amazing for loose spawns like money, drinks, moonshine, sugar. And checking this table, there's more electrical components. Make sure you check the tray and inside this box as well, you can get electrical components. And then this table. And we're done with this room. Want to move forward. Make sure you check in the floor for spawns. Things spawn absolutely everywhere here. On these shelves, you can get moonshine again. Then in this room, it's great for medical spawns. Make sure you check in front of uh, the little bench there as well. This is great for more tools. And then popping through here, we've got one coat. And we hit the duffel and make sure you check the bench again for more loose spawns. I found moonshine so many times in this room. Moving back through this corridor, want to nip around this corner. Found many Tetris and graphics cards just loose there and on this shelf. So there's the bench, the settee, and you can get food spawns on this table as well as ammo. Now we want to head upstairs one set of... Uh, ah, forgot about that. There's a food spawn there as well. And more food spawns along this windowsill and the corner there. Always check on top of the guitar and on this stool. It spawns there. On top of the washing machine, next to it, and in the corner. Things merge in the ground as well there, so make sure you check for the little proximity circle. A ton more spawns in here. You can get cash on that settee and moonshine in front of this table. All along the bed here, make sure you check this settee and that chair next to it as well. You want to be moving through this area as fast as you can though, because people will be swarming. It's, it's most contested place in the map i find again another good spawn in the corner there now this corridor you can open up these gates with iron gate but there's only one spawn in each room so i don't bother i only open up gate number one in here you're going to find two static scavs as well as checking this table and in the corner there's a gold spawn i found so many bitcoins and skulls and gp coins the ones that are hard to find so make sure you crouch and look for that circle check the bed as well and then we're done with upstairs want to drop down this hall check the settee and make sure you check in front of the settee for more spawns as well moving forward we go prone go under the little hole there and i like to unlock this door with the stair key because if you hear footsteps you're, you're trapped up here unless you've got this key there's only one way back out so make sure you unlock that first and then this is the goated room check 15 now in this example there's not too much here but there's spawns all along the bed in front of the bed where that horse is on the chair you can get things like veritas picks this is great for stim spawns there's a spawn there as well on the chair and behind the chair every single draw here can spawn things like skulls so make sure you get in there and check for the small circle where that vase is can spawn Bitcoin as well, so make sure you're crouching and having a good look around so you're not missing anything. It's been multiple times that people have unlocked that door and I've gone in after them and I've found a lot of skulls. So dropping down here, always crouch and check because this is another hidden spawn. Veritas picks GP coins and Bitcoin can hide under there. Make sure you check that scav as well. Again, they've got to create a loop pool. Coming outside, moving forwards, we're going to the next static scav next to this blue van. And then we're going to progress to the next set of buildings. So popping through here, open this door, and then on the immediate left you find a coat. Always worth checking for the keys. I like to nip in here as well for this med bag. I find a ton of O-scopes and there's also a chance of spawning athletics in all medical bags. Now we go upstairs one flight in this room it contains one duffel bag right here and then on the top shelf this is another lootable duffel bag this is another cheap key it's a quest key as well so make sure you pick it up 
inside. We're going to find a Bitcoin spawn on that table right there. Tetris can spawn on here and the city as well as this coffee table. And then on the way out, there's a chance for cat statues right there as well. And I think lions can spawn there. We're done with that building though. So we go outside. Make sure you're checking for scavs here because they're, they're quite a nuisance to fight. Once you're inside, we want to head up to the fourth floor. And then immediately we're greeted with two coats and one toolbox. Moving along the corridor, we've got another static scav on the settee. Always worth checking. You can also get spawns on these shelves as well, so keep an eye out for tools there. Computer in the hallway. And then I head to the end of the corridor because in this suitcase where this ammo box is, you can find things like Veritas picks, Bitcoin, GP coin. So make sure, again, you check for that small circle. We're back though, we come into this room, we check for one coat, and then we drop down. Great alcohol spawns there and ammo spawns on the chair. You can get stuff on this set of cabinets as well. Coming through, this is another fantastic room. Make sure you crouch and check the oven door because you can get Bitcoin, GP coin, various task picks, rollers, etc. Check along all these shelves. And this is great for alcohol spawns and stims as well. Then we pop across the corridor, one coat. And then this is great for ammo spawns and food spawns as well in this little kitchen area. Now I head to the end of the corridor before I start looting anymore. Check the, all these shelves for industrial spawns as well as tech spawns. I found many graphics cards and Tetris is there. We have a duffel in the corridor. Moving forward, some more great graphics cards spawns. We get an RFID this time. Toolbox right there and some more loose spawns on that shelf. Another loose spawn on top of this table. And then we hop over and make sure you turn around and check all four of these compartments because they're great for tool spawns. As well as this shelf, you get a lot of hose silicon tubes, pliers, etc. One more duffel bag and some loose spawns on this bench. And then some more alcohol spawns there. Spawns all on these shelves and one more static scav to hit up. Then we open the door, head down one flight of stairs. This is another great graphics card spawn. Make sure you check in at the back there because things get stuck under that blanket, stuff like power cards, which are definitely worth picking up. Typically they're about 42, 45k on the market, which is great for two slaughter. But coming outside, we open up this door. We've now got a duffel bag, a loose spawn between the duffel bag and the scav. So make sure you check that for gold as well as the scav, obviously. Coming in here, we've got one duffel bag. Again, check these shelves. These are all great for loose spawns. And then one final room in this building. Loads of tool spawns. Great stuff for hideouts. And then another set of filing cabinets if you've got time. There's not too much activity. And then that's pretty much it. Typically, I'm in and out of streets within eight to 10 minutes. It's always nice when you get the extract, which is right here called Underpass. I'll be doing a, an extract guide soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Make sure you subscribe and have the, notifica uh, sorry, the notification bell rang, so you know when the latest uploads are coming out. And then this is just showing you where Underpass is. Always flip off the sniper. You will always get shot at, by the way, there, but they can't hurt you. And then this is underpass. And then that's gonna do it for this guide. I hope you find it useful and you get many, many rules from it. So one final thing that I wanna mention, I do stream Monday to Friday at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ontorius. There'll be a link for that in the description. So if you wanna come and hang out, if you've got any more questions about streets, I'll talk of in general. I've got around 8,900 hours in the game. I think I've done about six or seven wipes. So I'm pretty knowledgeable. If you're new to the game and you want to learn it's a perfect place to hang out it's pretty chill over there so i hope to see you soon and uh peace i'll see this